Hey everyone, and welcome to the Love America and Hate Taxes podcast. I'm here with Don Rasmussen, and we're, today we're going to be talking about investments into raw land. So uh, purchasing raw land, uh, a lot of people do that. There's several reasons why they might want to do that as far as maybe just you know purchasing it for appreciation or purchasing it for owning a property, things like that. Um, but there's also some a uh, few tax things that can come into that. So let's kind of go ahead and walk through a few of the um, scenarios if you own property like that and, and how the property taxes work for that. Sure. So, um, and I'll just give you an example, mm-hmm. Ryan. You know, we bought some property up uh, before y'all got married, mm-hmm. uh, I think 2016, something like that there. 17. The, uh, yeah, well, you were married in 2017. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we bought it in uh, 2016, <laughs> but we bought it to to build a cabin. And so the the one thing about this here is the property taxes that we paid on that property because our intent is to build upon it, mm-hmm. then that is a deduction that I can take on my Schedule A as long as I itemize. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So. Perfect. Um, so, and uh, again, we're talking about the uh, personal, right? Yes. Yeah, this not, not business-wise. This is what any correct. person can take that for this correct. as far as this mm-hmm. goes. Awesome. Um, so what about the interest that comes with this? Is that something that you can deduct from there? Or? It is, again, going back to itemization. Mm-hmm. So as long as you itemize. If you don't itemize, if you take the, take the standard deduction, then, of course, you can't. Mm-hmm. So, um, what about um, what about things like if you're planning on um, like improving the property, anything like that? Like if uh, like just general land clearing. Let's say my I have I have too much brush on my land, right? And I'm just trying to clear that. Can I count that or no? Not not clearing the brush, not shaping the land. You can't. Mm-hmm. Um, so the only thing you can though is if you're going in there and building the pad, mm-hmm. uh, if you're building the road or the driveway. Uh, all that is, uh, is, is deductible. Um, and of course, keep in mind that um, if you uh, have that expense and, you, and you're, again, you're not itemizing, then of course it would go towards your basis. Meaning that, so for example, let's say I bought that property for $150,000 and I spent all this money to, to build the roads and, and put some you know, landscape in or, or whatever the case is, all that would be uh, added to my basis. So instead of me and you know, let's say I sold it in the future mm-hmm. instead of a, and I, whether that's the property or, or the house or other cases, but my 150000 I purchased the property for, 20000 I did for all that work. Mm-hmm. Now my base is 170000 If I sold it for 200000 I only pay taxes on the difference. Okay. So, so um, <clears throat> there was an interesting thing that happened under the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act back in 2018 where... Um, you used to be able to deduct some of your legal fees and other things like that in there. Can you just, is that done away with or? It's been done away with, you know, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act runs from 2018 to 2025. We'll wait and see next year if uh, Congress uh, decides to, you know, allow that again or if it's still um, not deductible. Uh, But so any type of, uh, you know, accounting fees, travel, you know, to and fro, all that type of stuff is not deductible. Gotcha, gotcha. What other things with the land, that we might be missing that can either help us deduct our ta- from our taxes or um, something that we can itemize. Do you have anything else? Um, so, you know, if you don't itemize, mm-hmm. just make sure that you elect to capitalize. Mm-hmm. So does that make sense to you, Ryan? No, oh, go into it. Explain it to yeah. me like I'm a three-year-old. <laughs> no, no, no. So, you know, <clears throat> what happened to the tax, God, mm-hmm. tax Cuts and Jobs Act mm-hmm. was they wanted to reduce the amount of people who had to itemize. Mm-hmm. It was called, uh, President Trump wanted to simplify the tax. So each one of us have a standard deduction. So mm-hmm. this year here for married filing uh, jointly, I believe it's about $27,000. Okay, and if you're single, it's about half of that. So that means uh, my expenses with my charitable contributions, my medical, my uh, property taxes, my mortgage interest, uh, those type of things are, is if they don't exceed that 27,000, I take the standard deduction, then I don't have to fill out that form. And mm. of course your accountant doesn't have that extra paperwork to do either. If it is over that amount, then you would itemize. So if, if my charitable contributions and all that type of stuff add up to, say, 40000 then I would itemize. So what I'm saying here is if you don't itemize, if you're a standard deduction type person, mm-hmm. single or a couple, um, then you'd want to capitalize those expenses. So that way there, if you ever do or want to sell that property, then you get to recognize that, that benefit. So Gotcha. And what about passive loss? How does, oh. that, how does that play into all this? Yeah, so when it comes to um, uh, passive loss, so it, and we're going to talk about this in another session about what all that is. Because you're not actively managing uh, that property, uh, you're not eligible to, for, from a depreciation standpoint, to use 
that deduction against ordinary income. Mm. All right, because you only can use passive losses against passive income. Passive income comes from rental income, as an example. Got you, got you. Any other takeaways that you want to yeah, talk that, about? I think that's pretty much it. Just uh, like I said, make sure that if you do have raw land, um, that you have a conversation with your accountant or your CPA, let them know that you do have this raw land up here and that the intention is for you to build on it so that if you do any work on it, now if it's just sitting there, you know, other than your interest, you're not going to be able to get a lot of benefit from it. But if you start working that land and got, get that land prepared, then you definitely want to make sure that, you, again, if you can itemize, itemize, if not capitalize. Gotcha. Well, guys, thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Don't forget to hit that share and like button. And, Don, we have a, we have a couple T-shirts here for you. So if you watch today's podcast and we have a T-shirt that says Love America, Hate Taxes, if you want to join the movement, Give us a shout. Let us know what size you are, and we'll send you out a T-shirt. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, everyone.